Hey, what's up? This is David Sanchez from Blender Rookie. Welcome to another exciting tutorial. We're going to talk about plane tracking, so four point plane tracking. So, we're going to be talking about um, this exactly. This is what we're going to be doing today. Okay, we're going to be adding uh, the graffiti on the wall. This footage is already a footage that I recorded in my backyard. I will, I will be providing uh, the video and the sticker or the poster or whatever the graffiti whatever you want to call it to a file to a link below so if you want to follow along you can so let's open blender immediately and the first thing we want to do is just we want to eliminate our default cube and we're not going to be using our 3d view this time we're going to go be going to our motion tracking editor okay so this should be your setup more or less we want to open our footage in this case I have my footage on the desktop so we go desktop black magic pocket cinema camera that's the one we want to use okay we want to make sure that our camera settings is um, black po black magic pocket cinema camera in my case I already have it that's fine so the next point is that we want to add four trackers but before we do that we want to make sure in our timeline we are grabbing all our scene in this case there are 470 frames in this footage so that will save you some time and then the next thing we want to do is we want to prefetch uh, the scene so prefetching prefetching is uh, uh, we're loading the information to our to the blender memory or to our RAM in this case so we can have a better playback so we can see down here it's loading our footage so let's wait just a few seconds and there we go alrighty then so the next thing we can see that our footage is uh, playing smoothly in this case okay so we wanna add a marker so we can add a marker over here under marker or we can hit control right click so we're gonna select a section here we're gonna select here make it big uh, we're gonna make another one over here let me see um, let's make it there and we want to make another one over here down here scale that up a little bit and another one right here it's good to find good contrast points because that's how uh, the tracking function in, in blender will work and in, in pretty much most of tracking uh, programs you, you it's best to use the best contrast okay so once we have it all we can hit a to select them all and we can track forward let's track forward then hopefully we won't have none that fail us exactly that's perfect alrighty so if we look in our graph editor we're seeing that everything in theory should work everything looks good um, if we had any peaks that are really going really high that means that one of our trackers isn't functioning the proper way so in this case we see everything's pretty much smooth so that's good so we can go back and now that we have all our trackers selected and everything's function fine let's add a let's add a planar track so we can go to solve <clears throat> on our tab go to here to planar track and we want to create a plane track so we have our plane track if we hit if we hit play it should move pretty well okay awesome so the next thing we want to do is go to over here on our right side plane track <clears throat> sorry about that and we want to add an image now we want to replace that square for our image so 
we have to open our image first so here on our 3d view we can change this to our UV editor and we can open our down on our desktop our little poster okay so we can see it right here blender rookies and then we can add it down here poster boom and we see that our little poster our little graffiti is stuck on the wall looks good right awesome so of course we want to blend it a bit much better with our footage in this case so now we're gonna head to our compositing window so in our compositing window we want to eliminate our render layers when I shift a we're going to input a movie clip in this case we're going to open here in our little film strip and we're going to open our footage we can hit shift control and right click and that should head towards the viewer node let's add a reroute <coughs> node uh, we can hit shift a layout reroute we can put that little dot right there and connect it to our composite node awesome so looks pretty big right now so we're gonna hit V to bring this scale this down we want to add a distort scale and change this from relative to render size we want to make sure our footage is the right size in this case 1920 by 1080p in this case alrighty so the next thing is we want to add our graffiti so let's go input let's add an image let's open our image that we were just using the poster png we want to mix our footage let's hit color mix and we want to add our image on the bottom slot we want to change our mix to multiply and it doesn't appear why well we have to hit this little button right here with the alpha channel so that's how we change our footage we want to uh, change our factor of our footage a bit to point uh, 0.75 maybe that looks good it makes it blend better with our footage okay but our footage is way too big so we're gonna fix that but before that if you notice if we move our timeline here we notice that our image is not stuck on the our footage so to solve that we have to add a plain track deform uh, and we can find it here in shift a down on distort and we can add a plain track deform we can add it select our film strip our black magic pocket cinema camera we can go here and the object will add the camera all this information is coming from the motion tracker and we can add that plane tracker there we go so now that looks pretty good so you see that it rescaled the image to where we originally had it before we also want to um, press here and activate the motion blur and, and the reason is that all footage almost practically all footage has motion blur unless you recorded your footage in a in a very high uh, shutter which it which is less uh, motion blur in it for 3d things it's also very good practice to uh, film in higher shutter but that's for maybe another tutorial in this case we want to keep it in samples uh, 16 and shutter 0.5 that works for this situations it may be different for other footage but in this situation this this kind of footage this works just fine alrighty so the next thing uh, we've added our footage then so if we move our track we can see that our footage is moving with our poster or our poster is moving with our footage um, the only thing next to do is uh, this is pretty much it the next thing you might want to do is probably color correct your footage in this case I use color correction added it here I bumped up the saturation a bit to 0.3 the contrast maybe to 1.05 
the gamma I put it to 1.5 I think yeah and the gain 1.1 no oops 1.1 there you go Alex is looking a bit better I also wanted to add a filter filter and we want to add a sharpening and that's a lot of sharpening now so we want to put this to change it to 1.5 that's pretty good that's good so what else um, and and the rest is if you wish if you want to color correct or color grade in this case color grade is different from color correct uh, I'm no colorist I'm not a professional in this case but you know um, I try my best uh, maybe we're gonna add a blue tint and pull down a bit to the oranges and maybe add some of that gamma gamma and bring up the gain just a tad and there we go that's pretty much our plane track you can keep on adding whatever you want in your case so that's pretty much it guys so we just hit animation we want to render out our PNGs and then turn it into a final movie clip uh, and that's when we get our final result so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I know I did uh, and uh, I want to thank all of you guys who have subscribed and I hope uh, and for those of you who have not subscribed if you wish to su subscribe you're welcome to this is David Sanchez from Blender Rookie I'll see you guys next time